Uh, first things first, how does it feel to get a black belt? Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, I've been doing jiu-jitsu for a little while now. Um, you know, we took over the gym as gym owners, Jake and myself, from our instructor Henry uh, years ago. And, uh, you know, he's been living out in Colorado. And, you know, we visit him and stuff like that from you know time to time and have that relationship still. Um, and, but this was the first time he was able to make it out and be in my corner for one of my fights. So it was a pretty special time just having him here, you know, throughout the whole process and in cage side. And I was totally not expecting it. And, um, you know, I've had my brown belt for a little while, but I didn't think it happened in the cage or anything like that. And I totally caught by surprise, but it was just on top of a great moment, another great moment, so pretty cool. Now the fight itself was a bit close, um, split decision. How did you feel it went? Was it a knockout? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. I mean, knockout. Zach, I mean, how did it feel coming in tonight knowing that the crowd obviously were very much behind your opponent and that pressure? Yeah, um, he's been training out of Vegas for a long time, you know, been in the UFC for a long time. I knew a lot of people, you know, wanted him to, to have a great going away party. Um, but I had to play the spoils. Um, you know, I felt I, a lot of people, friends and family, were able to make it out to support me, and I heard them too. I've been traveling all over the place, fighting out of the country, so I was totally used to it. You know, hearing some cheers for my name was was different, and uh, I appreciated that from those that made it out. Yeah, I mean, like when when you did get that, that the victory, you did get the stoppage. Did, did you think it could be perhaps stopped a little earlier? Like you were putting a lot of shots. Yeah, I was putting uh, quite a bit of shots on them. Um, some of them were getting through pretty hard, yeah. and uh, you know it looked past that point of the intelligently defending yourself. But I, I didn't care. I wasn't, you know, I was just looking to keep going and, and look for the openings. Um, there was a second there where I thought, okay, I don't want to, you know, completely gas myself going for a finish that might not be there. So I kind of had to reset, go back to sniper mode, and pick my shots a little bit more. And then once I landed another clean one, I came with another barrage and got got the finish. Yeah, I mean, Mike he has been around for a very long time, nine years in the UFC. When you were kind of making your way up through the ranks, was he a guy that you, you were aware of, thinking maybe our maybe I'll cross, paths will cross one then? Uh, most definitely, always was a big fan, amateur, young pro. I'd watch and stay tuned whenever he would be fighting. I'd watch those fights. Uh, big fan of his. Um, as he dropped from the rankings and you know had lost some as he got a little bit older and I was climbing up and got into the UFC, I thought that'd be pretty cool if our paths crossed one time. and. Here it was for his last fight, so uh, another cool experience. Yeah, I mean, the obvious question, I guess, is what was kind of next for you? When do you feel that you're going to be able to get back in there? It was a pretty, pretty quick fight. Uh, I, I feel really healthy, you know, more so than who. Um, you know, the UFC and my, my manager, Jason House, will kind of talk that over and decide that, but it's more of a where thing for me. Um, there's a card in Chicago in June. That's pretty close to home. I'd love to get on that card. Otherwise, let's bring a card to Milwaukee. You know, we got tons of fighters out of Milwaukee on the UFC roster, new arena. Harley Davidson has their 115th anniversary coming up. Let's do one in Milwaukee. I got to be on that one. When did you find out that this would be his retirement fight? Did you find out just through the media? Yeah, just through the media. In fact, on your show. Oh, okay. um, this <laughs> is where I found out um, this week. I thought that that was a, probably a strong possibility because he's had the long layoff, and you know it's a, probably about that age or that time. Um, but with the announcement on your show is when I found out for sure. Is there any part of you, I mean obviously you're very happy, you get your first finish in the UFC, is there any small part of you that kind of feels bad that he lost in his final fight? Um, you know, it is the fight business and it, it's pretty tough. A lot of ups and downs, it's not like we're signed to these super long contracts. I felt like I was fighting for my job in there. You know, he's made a lot of money in the sport. He made more money in this loss than I made winning. Um, you know, he's got other things going on. I know we were talking a little bit, and he's got a family, and you know, he's kind of done his thing, and, and now it's my time. So um, I wish him well in retirement, but this had to be my fight to win. You had a long streak of, of finishes prior to coming to the UFC. Why do you think it took you four fights, well, this being your fifth, sure. to finally get that first finish? Uh, you know, on the regional level, um, you get somebody hurt. Um, you can just kind of get that finish a little easier at this level. Not only is everybody so much technically better, but they're just tougher guys. You know, you can you get somebody hurt in these fights or close to submissions, and they just are tough and gritty and have, find a way to fight out of it. I was fighting experienced people with quite a bit of, you know, all winning records and stuff like that. <laughs> I wasn't really fighting anybody on their way out. Um, they were tough fights, and I was just trying to find a way to win. But now I got my feet under me. I feel like, you know, experience now. I got five fights in the UFC. I can kind of get back to uh, going after those finishes now. Just one more for me. Um, 
for those that don't know, the, this journey ends with the black belt, right? Your, your sort of jujitsu journey. When did it start? I think sometimes we forget like how long it takes to get a black belt. When yeah, I started uh, at the end of 2009. So it's kind of funny because it's like the same amount of time that Mike Pyle's been in the UFC huh. is like when I completely started my entire martial arts journey. And it started with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as kind of like my foundation. I started taking kickboxing classes after that and all and everything came after. Um, so I've been at this for, you know, almost 10 years now. Is it surreal to see the black belt around your waist? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's been a long time. Obviously, this isn't the end goal. This is just the beginning of fun, another journey. When a guy like Pyle retires, you know, and you, the UFC had a chance. They knew he was retiring before. Would you hope that, you know, a fighter that's given so much support that they maybe would have did a little bit more for a retirement fight? Maybe some sort of a video package, something, you know? Do you think that they gave him enough that he deserved? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean... He's, he's been around the sport a long time, but he also had a longer layoff. So, you know, this is a quickly evolving sport. And, uh, you know, when you take a little you, more than a year away from the sport, the sport can keeps going, you know, without you. So maybe that's something to do with it. Gotcha. And you mentioned Chicago and the places. Are there names that make sense for you? People on the list that you've been, you know, dying to get in there and, and, and test your skills? I was just really focused on Mike Pyle. I really needed this win. Um, you know, the where spot was kind of a focus for me if that was a possibility after. Uh, now that this fight's over, I'll talk to my manager and we'll figure that out. By the way, how did your coach, how did your coach hide that from you? I have you no idea. It? Where did you put it? I'd have to ask him. <laughs> I haven't got a chance to talk to him yet. I'm not sure. It wasn't, I, even while he was hugging me, I didn't even realize he had it on, in his hands until it was like going around my waist and that's when I found out. So yeah, I had no idea.